I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue, but if you mouth it, as many of your players do, I had as leave the town crier spoke my lines. And do not saw the air too much with your hand, thus, but in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance to make it smooth. I warrant, your honor. Be not too tame, neither, but uh, let your own discretion be your tutor. So the action to the word, and the word to the action, with this special observance. And you overstep not the modesty of nature. For something so overdone is from the purpose of playing, whose purpose, both at the first and now, was and is to hold, as it were, the mirror up to nature. To show virtue her own image, scorn her own image, and the very body and age of the time is form and pressure. Uh, there be players that I have seen play and heard others praise, not, not to speak it profanely, that neither having the, the accent of Christians, nor the, the gait of Christian, pagan, nor man, have so strutted and bellowed that I have thought some of nature's journeymen had made men and not made them well. They imitated humanity so abominably. I hope we have reformed it indifferently with us, well, sir. Reform it all together. Go make you ready. Will the king hear this piece of work? I am the queen too, and that presently. <laughs> Bid the players make haste. And will you two help to hasten them? We will, my lord. What? Ho, Horatio! Hear, my good lord, at your service. Thou art even as just a man as e'er my conversation is cope with all. Nay, my good lord. But do not think I flatter, for what advancement should I hope from thee that no revenge you hast, except thy good spirits to feed and clothe thee? Give me that man that is not passion's slave, and I will wear him in my heart's core, aye, in my heart of hearts, as I do thee. Oh. But something too much of this. There's a play tonight, before the king. One scene, if it comes near that circumstance I have told you of my father's death. When thou seest that act of foot, even with the comment of thy soul, observe mine uncle. If this occult of guilt do not itself unkittle in one speech, it is a damned ghost that we have seen, and my imaginations are as foul as Vulcan's stithy. For my part, I, mine eyes, will rivet to his face. And after, we will both our judgments join in the censure of his semen. Well, my lord, if he still up about this play is playing and scape detecting, I will pay the theft. They're coming to the play. Uh, get you a place. I must be idle. <laughs> now, there's our cousin Hamlet. Excellent in faith of the chameleon's dish. I eat the air. Promise, Cramp, you cannot feed capon so. <laughs> I have nothing with this answer, Hamlet. These words are not mine. No, nor mine now. <laughs> My lord. You played in a university once, you say? Ah, uh, that did I, my lord, and I was accounted a good actor. What did you enact? I did an act, Julius Caesar. I was killed in the capital. Brutus killed me. Was a brute part of him to kill so capital a cast there? <laughs> <laughs> Are the players ready? Aye, my lord, they stay upon your patience. Come hither, my dear Hamlet, sit by me. No, good mother. Here's metal more attractive. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> mark that. Lady, shall I lie in your lap? No, my lord. I mean my head upon your lap. I, my lord. Did you think I meant country matters? I think nothing, my lord. That's a fair thought to lie between maids' legs. What is, my lord? <laughs> nothing. You are merry, my lord. Who, I? I, my lord. Oh, you're only jig maker. What should a man do else but be merry? Look, look you how cheerfully my mother looks, and my father died within these two hours. Nay, <laughs> tis twice two months, my lord. Two months? Uh, nay, let the devil wear black, for I'll have a suit of sables. Uh, died two months and not yet forgotten? Then there's hope a great man's memory may outlive his life half a year. <laughs>
My lord. This is Mitching Malico. It means mischief. But like the show imports the argument of the play? Uh, we shall know by these players here. The players cannot keep counsel, they will tell all. Will he tell us what the show meant? Aye, or any show that you'll show him. He's not ashamed to show, and he'll be not ashamed to tell you what it means. You are not. You are not. I'll mark the play. Our tragedy. Here, stooping to your clemency, we beg your hearing patiently. <laughs> it is a prologue of the posy of a ring. Tis brief, my lord. As woman's love. <laughs> Full thirty times hath Phoebus' cart gone round, Neptune's salt wash and Telus' orbit ground, and thirty dozen moons with borrowed sheen. About the world have times twelve thirties been since love our hearts, and Hymen did our hands unite commutual in most sacred bands. So many journeys, may the sun and moon make us again count or ere love be done. But woe is me, you are so sick of late, so far from cheer in your former state, that I distrust you. Yet though I distrust, discomfort you, my lord, at nothing must, for woman's fear in love holds quantity, in neither aught or in extremity. Now what my love is, proof hath made you know. And as my love is sized, my fear is so. Where love is great, the littlest doubts are fear. Where little fears grow great, great love grows there. Faith, I must leave thee, love, and shortly too my operant powers their functions leave to do. And thou shalt live in this fair world behind, honored, beloved, Happily, one is kind, for a husband No, confound the rest! Such love must needs be treason in my breast. In second husband, let me be accursed. None wed the second, but who killed the first. Wormwood, wormwood. The instances that second marriage move are base respects of thrift, but none of love. A second time I kill my husband dead, when second husband kisses me in bed. I do believe you think what now you speak. What we do determine, oft we break. What to ourselves in passion we propose, the passion ending, that doth the purpose lose. The violence of either grief or joy, their own enactures with themselves destroy. Uh, where joy most revels, grief does most lament. Grief, joy, joy grieves on, on slender accident. This world is not for I, nor tis not strange that even our love should without fortunes change. But orderly to end where I begun, our wills and fates do so contrary run that, that our devices still are overthrown. Our thoughts are ours, our ends, none of our own. So think thou wilt no second husband wed, but die thy thoughts when thy first lord is dead? Both here and hence pursue me lasting strife, if once a widow ever I be wife. She should break it now. Tis deeply sworn. <laughs> oh, sweet, leave me here a while. My spirits grow dull, and the faith I can't would beguile the tedious day with sleep. Sleep rock thy brain, and never come mischance between us twain. Madam, how likes you the play? <laughs> the lady doth protest too much, methinks. <laughs> but she'll keep her word. Have you heard the argument? Is there no offense in it? No, I do but jest, a poison and jest. 
No offense to the world. What do you call the play? Mousetrap. Mary how? Tropically. The, the play is the image of a murder done in Vienna. Gonzago's the Duke's name. His wife, Baptista, you shall see anon. Uh, Tis a knavish piece of word, but what of that? To your majesty and we that have free souls, it touches us not. But the gall, jade, whence our withers are unwrung. Oh, this is uh, one Lucianus, nephew to the king. You are a good chorus, my lord. I can interpret between you and your love, if I can see the puppets, Dalian. You are keen, my lord, you are keen. It would cost you a groaning to take off my edge. Still better. And worse. Thoughts black, hands apt, <laughs> drugs fit in time agreeing, confederate season no creature see. Thou mixture rank of midnight weeds collected, with Hecate's band thrice blasted, thrice infected. Thy natural magic and dire property, on wholesome life, usurp immediately. He poisons him in the garden for his estate. His name's Gonzago. The, the story is extant and written in very choice Italian. You shall see anon how the murderer gets the love of Gonzago's wife. The king rises. Get him over the place. Lights! 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 Oh, Horatio! Oh. I'll take the ghost word for a thousand pounds. <laughs> Perceive. Very well, my lord. Upon the talk of the poison. I did very well note him. Come on, some music. <laughs> <laughs> Good my lord, vouchsafe me a word with you. Oh, a whole history. The king, sir. What about him? Is in his retirement marvelous distempered. With drink, ma'am? No, my lord. Rather with choler. Your wisdom should show itself more richer to signify this to the doctor. For me to put him to his purgation would perhaps plunge him into far more color. <laughs> Good, my lord, put your discourse into some frame and, and start not so wildly for my affair. I am tame. Pronounce. The queen, your mother, hath sent me to you. Yes, she desires to speak with you in her closet ere you go to bed. We shall obey were she ten times our mother. Have you any further trade with us? My lord, you once did love me. As I do still by these pickers and stealers. What is the cause of your distemper? You sh do surely bar the door of your own liberties if you deny your griefs to your friends. Sir, I lack advancement. But how can that be when you have the voice of the king himself for your succession in Denmark? Why do you go about to recover the wind of me as if you would drive me into a toil? Oh, my lord, if my duty be too bold, my love is too unmannerly. I do not well understand that. Uh, will, you, will you play upon this pipe? My lord, I cannot. I, I pray you. Believe me, I cannot. I beseech you. I know no touch of it, my lord. Oh, Tis as easy as lying. Uh, here are the stops. But these cannot take command to any utterance of harmony. I have not the skill. Why, how unworthy a thing you make of me. You would seem to know my stops. You would pluck out my heart of mystery. Sound me from my lowest note to the top of my compass, and there is excellent music, most excellent voice in this little organ, but cannot you make it speak? Splud, do you think I'm easier to be played on than a pipe? Call me what instrument you will, though you can fret me, you cannot play upon me. God bless you, sir. <laughs> the queen would speak with you, and presently, Do you see that yonder cloud in the shape of a camel? By the mass, and tis like a camel indeed. Methinks it's like a weasel. What, tis that like a weasel? Or like a whale? Tis very like a whale. <laughs> I will come to my mother by and by. They fool me to the top of my bent. I will come by and by. I will say so, sir. By and by is easily said. <laughs> Leave me, friends.
is now the very witching time of night. When churchyards yawn and hell itself breathes out contagion into this world. Now I can drink hot blood. And do such bitter business as the day would quake to look on. Soft. To my mother. Heart, lose not thy nature. Let never the soul of Nero enter this firm bosom. Let me be cruel, not unkind. I will speak daggers at her, but use none. How in my words, some ever she be shent, give them seals, never my soul consent. Mm -hmm.